What is up everyone and welcome to a video that's sort of going to be like a little vlog style documentation of what I'm going to be doing today. It's Monday the 21st and today I'm going to be making some rather drastic alterations to IMNC HQ. Now if you guys have been keeping an eye on the vlog channel and I highly recommend that you do, you will know that I have had some news in regards to my new house, or rather, we have had some news in regards to our new house. It's going to be a little more delayed than I thought, and I will get the dust off the lens, eventually. Um, so, that means that I have got to make this room much more functional for the next month or two. So that involves taking everything that's a waste of space and improving it. Now, there's not a lot I can do, um, but there is certainly enough that I can do to make this room a lot more functional um, and basically what we're going to be doing today the primary focus is we're going to be stripping down my bed and taking my bed out of here because I don't need it also eventually the box underneath the sofa the box that's holding the sofa up that will be stripped out um, and we will be keeping the sofa because people do use my room to sleep in if they come and stay like my sister or whatever um, so we'll be keeping the sofa, don't know where we'll be keeping that, but my primary focus is to get rid of this stuff next door temporarily so that that gives us, gives us enough space to get rid of the bed and to really, really get going on uh, improving the space in this room. I can stack up the lighting stuff in the corner then and get it out of the way and uh, have much, much more storage, which will be great, It'll be really, really great. So... If you want the details of my new house and what's happening, I basically made an entire vlog about it. Um, feel free to go and check that out, link in the video description to the vlogging channel. And if you want to keep updated, it's really important to subscribe over there. So this video is all going to be about my room. Not really tech stuff, but of course I've got tech stuff everywhere. So uh, yeah, you will see plenty of that. But I'm going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is move this lot into my brother's room next door. My brother doesn't live here anymore, he hasn't lived here in a long time. So that's more sort of the spare room, but we still still say my brother's room, I guess. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way um, so that we can get started, hopefully with like a blank canvas. So within 12 minutes, I've managed to get rid of the overflow storage on the floor and uh, check the majority of the important emails that I wanted to check. Um, so it's now 13 minutes past 12, we started this at 12. I want to be done by about five o'clock. I've got five hours to transform this lot, which is plenty of time. Um, obviously, I'll have to have some food and stuff in between, chill out and stuff, because I don't want to overdo it. Um, but my next step now is to figure out um, how I'm going to access the bed, the best way to access the bed. What I think I'll do is move that stuff over to there, then I'll move the TV setup over to here, so that can all be just mulling around there. That gives me complete access to the bed, and I can start um, taking it apart. The only thing that I need to do is probably move a few of these things next door, these things that are for sale. This is mainly my eBay pile. Um, so we've got power supplies all for sale on a bundle on eBay, motherboards all for sale on a bundle on eBay, Tony Hawk's ride stuff is not for sale. Um, MacBook Pro waiting for a video to be made about it. Sony Vio, it's a laptop I've got into repair, but I'm doing that one first. Um, Blue Snowball, ready to sell. My ThinkPad sitting there being beastly. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna crack on and see how far we get. Okay, so we're looking about as empty as uh, I can get it now, really. I've packed all you know stuff over here. I wasn't expecting it to build up this much. Um, I'll just move these aside. I'll take the top units off, the cassette and amplifier, and then make a start on the bed, hopefully, and try and figure that out. So here we are, guys, at a good stage to take the mattress off. I've taken lots of the surrounding little bits and bobs out from under the stuff under the bed, so um, that makes it a lot easier. This remaining cable here actually goes under the floor, just about there, as you guys can see, for the speaker that's under my desk there. So that'll be staying there. Hopefully that can stay there. The door still opens, just because that's a nightmare to move with all the games on it. Um, I'll be keeping that, by the way. Definitely keeping that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, see how far I can get with this bed. Exactly one o'clock, I've been working on this an hour, and you guys can see that that end of the bed is indeed off and just sort of 
resting on the stuff that was living under my bed. That's going to be interesting. Um, so I've got a few bits of bed out here. I'm going to try and tackle the other end now, which is going to be more difficult because of the space restrictions and I may end up um, damaging something under the bed. But we are getting there slowly. Sorry about the music in the background, everyone. I uh, can't actually reach my computer to turn it off. Um, but as you can see, the bed is apart. And it's interesting because this room is actually echoing quite a bit more, which is odd because the, you know, the, ba the majority of the floor is covered in crap. But that's the metal frame of the bed. That's the uh, actual bed itself. And yeah, let's see if I can get rid of this lot. So I've carried all of the bed downstairs apart from the actual, you know, this bit, the bit you lie on because it weighs a ton and I can't get it downstairs on my own. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Then the plan is to pack all of this stuff into the corner and then bring this back in, lean this up somewhere out the way, and then that'll free me up to get the mattress out and to put it on top of the bed next door because that's where it's going to be. So the time is 13.24. I've been working on this for an hour and 24 minutes and um, excellent progress. Really, really pleased. So everyone, 10 to 2 and all of the lighting and sound equipment is packed into the corner. Um, it's great to see it all packed in that tightly, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that successful. Not sure if it's staying like that. There's probably a way that I can pack it tighter. I just have to see about doing that maybe have um, that red case horizontally in front of the stands and then pack that lot in that gap there. Um, I'll fiddle about with it. That would give me more wall space then along there, but we will see. I'll actually maybe give that a go now, see what happens. Um, but I washed all the wall and that behind there because it was looking a bit nasty and uh, hoovered up. So I've got the hoover in here and I can hoover this lot and then start washing along that skirting board there as well. So things are going really well. Um, yeah, and of course, this red case is a bonus. This wasn't actually under my bed. That was in the middle of the room before. It wouldn't fit under my bed. Only this lot fit under my bed. So um, I'm very, very pleased with this. Five past two, my mattress is gone. That bit of the bed is leaning up there temporarily. What I'm gonna do is once my uh, brother's room next door is empty and I've got all the stuff from in there back in here, after I sort this little bit, um, I can then slide that into my brother's room so I can be fully sorted in here. As you can see, corner rearranged. Um, now, what I believe I'm gonna do now is shift some of this stuff over here. This is all hoovered nicely now. And I'm gonna get the sofa off and the sofa is gonna go on top of the mattress next door. Um, all pretty confusing, I know. But that will go on top of the mattress next door and then I can start tackling that wooden box and see if I can take it out myself. I'm not too sure how it's attached, but I seem to have managed the bed and also my little alarm clock shelf, so, um, if I'm ever going to do it, now is probably the time. And um, yeah, I may have to maybe get a little bit complicated with some wiring, but a lot of the wiring going back there, I don't necessarily need. So I might be able to chop them. There's an ancient VGA cable in an S video going back there. I'll never want a 15 meter S video cable or a 15 meter VGA cable. And those cables may be a bit of an issue, but I'm just going to plod on and see how I get. I'm going to do a little bit more and then probably have a lunch break. 16 minutes past two and I've made a start taking the top of the box off, but I'm going to leave it at that for now and I'm going to have some lunch um, because I definitely, definitely need a drill to finish. I did the whole bed and that with just a hand screwdriver and uh, it's starting to take its toll on my hands now. So if I get a drill, I'll be two seconds doing it. So I'll have some lunch now and then I'll take this lot off. And the really cool thing is, um, in order to get some of the cables out from this conduit going to the projector, I'd have to take the projector shelf off. Um, but the only two cables that are actually going through this box are the only two cables that I don't want. This, um, what is this? VGA and S-Video. The power along with the two rear speaker cables are coming out from behind this bit of wood, which is really really good news to be perfectly honest um so that's great and once i get all that sorted i can put the hdmi and stuff through the conduit and that so yeah that'll look a lot nicer but this should be out today i don't see why not so nearly quarter past three and i'm still making good progress um most of the time is spent moving stuff around multiple times like i've moved this tv around so many times um, but all of the lighting stuff is now packed in the corner. As you can see, I've got park hands and stuff down there. 
Um, that's probably the final state in which it's going to be. But tucked in here just for now, I've got my lamp and my mini fridge where they were. Also this soft box will probably lurk around here um, for its life because I've left an extension lead coming out from behind all the junk. Um, my video tripods are there. They'll have a proper uh, place. Well, nothing will really have a proper place, but you know, temporary proper. This has still got to come out, obviously. I'm just in the middle of sorting out this sort of pile that came out of um, lots of the the place um, places under the bed and you know nooks and crannies around the place. It's amazing how much it builds up. But of course, I'm going to have all along this wall once this is gone. So that's absolutely great. But remember that I do have a load of stuff next door still to put in. Um, store a TV, store my Blu-ray rack, that kind of thing. But it's not going to be too bad because I've gained all of that wall space and all of that wall space. So absolutely brilliant. I'm going to have far less issues um, in this little space. So I'm really, really glad. Well, I say little space. This room is colossal for what it is. So yeah, hopefully I can get all this junk sorted out and then by that time hopefully my dad will be back and he can sort me out a drill so that I can take my box apart and then I am pretty much nearly done. I will definitely be done. I've got work tonight. I need to, um, we'll probably be eating dinner at about half past five, so I'll definitely be done. Four o'clock, bang on, and my box is out. I managed to find a drill and got it out, and I've carried all the bits of wood downstairs. It's just that bit left now. So what I'm gonna do is hoover there, wash the wall down a bit, and then stack some stuff up against that wall. Um, which is exactly why I took the box out in the first place. So things are really coming on now. Everything is sorted. Once that's out of the way, I'm done, apart from uh, some jiggery pokery with moving things around, then hand sorting out those cables. I literally just chopped the VGA and S video. No point faffing. It would have taken me another hour or so to, to get all that down and put it all back up. And then there's no guarantee that it would have properly gone back up. So. I'm glad I left it like that, to be honest, and they can just trail out the bottom there, no worries. So, as you guys can see, it's actually coming on. It is 33 minutes past four, and I'm very, very tired. I've been doing this now for four and a half hours, of course. Um, how does it look to me? Yeah, it looks fine, considering the fact that the majority of it is storage. I mean, that's not set up, that's not set up, that's all storage. Uh, that Quicksilver and pile of motherboards are for sale on eBay at the moment. One of those computers is to, one of those laptops is to fix. That's my laptop underneath of it for some reason. And my Mac Pro and my TV, you know, it's just, it's a storage room. But what's now an advantage is I actually have some space in my bedroom. Now, it's likely that I'll have to keep my blue um, sofa type thing. That We're keeping that for people to come and stay in that. It's likely that I'll have to keep it there, sitting on the floor. Um, some of the time if, ne if the room next door is getting used or whatever, but that's absolutely fine by me I don't actually need all of this floor space. It's just nice to feel a little bit more organized one thing that I really do like about um, One thing that I liked about doing this today was even though I didn't touch this side of the room before I have fairly recently sorted pretty much everything here. It looks it looks pretty shambolic but I've pretty much sorted everything there I've sorted the wardrobe, as you guys know, although it is building up a little bit again, but that's fine. And top cupboard is three quarters sorted. So what I actually liked about this today was all of this, I know what I'm doing with it, which is great. Um, I'm not too sure about this guy here. Bit of an issue um, when we move and stuff. Don't really know. Would like to keep the TV and stuff because I, I'm into my retro gear, but it's just a massive lump. And you know, when am I gonna watch it when we've got that and also a 32 inch uh, HD flat screen as well. So yeah, that's one thing I really don't know. But what I do like is all that's lighting stuff. That'll be going in the shed down my new place once the shed is sorted. Um, you know, things will be, dribs and drabs will be leaving me and yeah, I know what everything's about. It's not like I've got mountains and mountains of junk. Um, I'm aware of everything that I have. So very, very happy with that. This softbox here is a floater because I'll be using it for all my videos, of course. That's why I've got an extension lead there. Extension lead will also be quite handy because it's got a couple of sockets on it. Uh, projector is still plugged in and ready to go. I can use that if I want to. There's a bit of an echo in here, but that's not to worry at all. Um, yeah, 
Things are looking fine. So what I'm going to do is tidy up the couple more random bits and bobs on the floor, although there's not much down here at all. Just have a tiny last little tidy up and then hoover the floor and I am done. I should be done by five o'clock. That'll give me time to have a shower and eat dinner before I go to work. So quite a hard day. Quite a, quite a hard day. Um, so tomorrow I probably won't work quite as hard, although I do have plans for tomorrow. But Yes, very pleased with this. So, there is one more update to come. I'm going to crack on. I will speak to you guys at around 5 o'clock. 4.53 and that's me well and truly knackered. Cables in the corner are sorted out. Room is hoovered. It's looking as neat as it's going to look. Um, this is all obviously because I'm fixing a laptop at the moment. So, that's that. Um, desk. Hackintosh kind of area. This is a bit of a grey area at the moment because the Hackintosh isn't working. It's quite a lot of junk down there. A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. 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 That is that, folks. That is pretty much what it's looking like. Now, one slight downfall and something that I'm going to try and rectify in the next week and a half to two weeks, possibly, um, is the lack of turntable setup with my speakers. Now, what I may do is put this upstairs in the studio, this TV, and use this chest of drawers to hold my turntable, uh, an amplifier. Maybe, I don't think my turntable will go on top of my amp, see? Might have to get some blocks of wood or something to sort that out. Um, but, yeah, the fact that I haven't got my turntable set up is not very cool, but I just don't have the energy to think of a solution right now, and of course, I'd kind of have to get both of my speakers. I'd get one speaker over here again, um, rather than trying to run cables. Um, there is a speaker cable running under the floor and coming out there, you can see it by my shoes, but it only reaches just there and I'd have to get it past all that crap. That does actually look severely crazy, all of that junk right there, guys. Um, I can't actually believe it, but there is some organization to it. It looked a lot better before I put those park hands there and all the leads and these motherboards sitting here and that, so. Yeah, hopefully it'll look good um, soon, but it's not really a priority. I just needed more of a functioning workspace for the next little while, and I think I've achieved that. So, quite happily, this blue thing, if I need it, can sit there. Um, well, it's going to be needed, so it can just sit there whenever, and that really won't disrupt me. If anything, it'll be more useful than it has been before, because I can just sit on it whenever I want or whatever. So, um, yeah, pleased with that. I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said, if you like this kind of style of video and you want to get updates on what's happening pretty much every day in my life really, um, then check out the vlog channel. There's a link in the video description. It's really, really worth subscribing over there. Um, yeah, until next time. The next video may or may not be me sorting um, this laptop. It's either going to be me sorting this laptop, a video about a UPS or something else. I'm not too sure. Um, but. Stay tuned and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.